This critical incident video details an officer-involved shooting that occurred on May 29, 2021. Warning, the following video contains graphic images and language. It is not suitable for all viewers. At approximately 3.40 p.m., IMPD Northwest District officers responded to the 6400 block of Kinstone Drive on a report of two people shot. Victim number one, a 38-year-old man, was doing yard work on his property. His neighbor, 21-year-old Keith Allender Jr., approached victim number one. Mr. Allender allegedly offered victim number one some money, and victim number one refused. Mr. Allender was armed with a handgun. Victim number one's mother arrived in a car with two children, ages three and six. The six-year-old went inside the house. Mr. Allender briefly walked away and returned, still armed with a handgun. Mr. Allender shot victim number one and his mother. The shooting was captured on a home security camera. A second security camera captured the sounds of the gunshots and a view of Mr. Allender returning to his driveway. He was pacing around his car and yelling. Mr. Allender was still armed when he entered his vehicle and drove away. Attention, Northwest 63, shots fired. Get Stone Drive, more to follow. 266, Southern Michigan. 967 56 9 3571 North West District B63 person shot Kenstone Drive 5563 257238 257238 1540 Feel free to 1 you can also put me on that person shot please Clear 1541 Just further on about 10 seconds out The victim is on the phone with EMS Units reference to a person shot on Kenstone Drive I my caller is that victim is at Stated the suspect left in a green SUV, possibly westbound. Officers arriving on Kinstone Drive located an adult woman, victim number three, who had allegedly been intentionally struck by Mr. Allender's vehicle as he left the scene. Mr. Allender drove his vehicle eastbound on West 62nd Street from Rotaball Road. While on West 62nd Street, Mr. Allender fired several shots at motorists on West 62nd Street, striking at least three vehicles. Mr. Allender came to a stop at the intersection of North Michigan Road and West 62nd Street. As Officer Iverson was approaching the intersection, she saw that Mr. Allender had a gun in his hand. Mr. Allender fired multiple shots at Officer Iverson, striking her patrol car. Cars are running. Control 66 shots fired. Control 66 shots fired. 62nd Michigan, a green trailblazer. A city camera at the intersection captured Officer Iverson take evasive action as Mr. Allender fired shots at her vehicle. Cars running. <laughs> 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 After firing at Officer Iverson, 
Mr. Allender exited his vehicle and shot at Officer Lowerman, who had approached Mr. Allender's vehicle from behind. Upon activation, the body-worn camera saves the previous 30 seconds of buffered video without audio. Recording. Stop the car! Hold on. Control, I need a car. Step it up, get behind me at 60 seconds at the eighth locking key. They're getting in the car. Stop the car! Put your hands outside the window! 60 seconds in Georgetown, step it up. Second. Two six three 6 3 in pursuit. Green Trailblazer are going southbound on Michigan. He popped up shot at me. We're going southbound. 268 will be calling it. Copy plate. The pursuit traveled southbound on Michigan Road for approximately four miles before Mr. Allender turned west onto West 30th Street. At 1600 West 30th Street, Mr. Allender turned into a closed gated area of Indianapolis Fleet Services. At that location, Mr. Allender opened his door and fired at officers. Five officers discharged their service weapons. The following is in-car camera video from a third IMPD vehicle which joined the pursuit. It depicts the pursuit from the point it went westbound onto 30th Street. A small number of IMPD vehicles are equipped with in-car cameras. This view from another in-car camera shows Officer Iverson taking cover behind her patrol car as Mr. Allender fired from his vehicle. She was shot multiple times. Officer Iverson's body armor stopped the penetration of a bullet that hit in the center of her chest. Officer Iverson was taken to the hospital in good condition and later released. No other officers were injured. Officers provided aid to Mr. Allender until the arrival of paramedics. He was taken to Eskenazi Hospital in critical condition. One handgun was recovered from the ground outside of Mr. Allender's driver's door. A second handgun was recovered from the front passenger seat of Mr. Allender's vehicle. Multiple IMPD police vehicles were struck by gunfire from Mr. Allender. On June 3, 2021, Mr. Allender was charged with 23 felony counts, including aggravated battery, criminal recklessness, resisting law enforcement, and four counts of attempted murder. Mr. Allender is presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty in a court of law. 
The incident is being investigated by IMPD's critical response team. A separate and independent investigation will be conducted by IMPD's Internal Affairs Unit to ensure compliance with department policy. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office will be consulted throughout the investigative process.